welcome back to my channel today so today i have quite an exciting video for you all we have a amazon unboxing and it's of a haunted doll so this was advertised as a haunted doll whether or not it is i don't know we're just going to open it up and see what kind of feeling we get from it but before I start my video today, I just want to say a massive thank you to those of you that have come over from my TikTok and subscribed and also any subscribers that have seen me on here and done it. I really, really appreciate it. Also, the views and likes and stuff like that, whether it's a small amount or not, it really, really is helping me. So I thank you very, very much for that. And that also leaves me to say, if you're not subscribed already and you like all things horror, spooky, true crime, please feel free to subscribe and also follow my other socials, which are at the beginning of the video. And be sure to turn on that notification bell so you never, ever miss when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So what I figured we'd do is unbox it like this. And once it's out, I'll obviously lift the camera back up. Just to let you know, just a little side note, guys. There is no address on this. I have scribbled it out before people, like, comment, like, concerned. It's not on there. And without further ado, let's be opening it. So I'm actually really excited. I'm a bit nervous because, honestly, it doesn't feel that heavy. So like I said, I don't know how good this is going to be. Um, but I just really have always wanted one. And it was advertised as that. So we are now opening it. Honestly, that was like ridiculous to get into. That was taped up so well. But anyway. Okay. So at the moment, <laughs> all I can see is tissue. And there it is. Face down. Oh. Oh my gosh, that is weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I honestly don't know what to make of this right now. Uh, it looks way scarier in person than it does online. So I suppose we better open it. Quite heavy actually, like I honestly thought it was just going to be a load of tack. It smells like a museum. Do you know that museum like musk smell? So this is it. <laughs> um, honestly, that actually Loki freaks me out a little bit, and I love horror. That is so weird. Like very weird. It smells as well. It smells weird like it doesn't smell right the hair as well just everything about it's just really strange i get that's the idea but like i don't know what do we think in the comments so this has got a battery pack on it so i'm gonna say it's obviously like some kind of prop however to me it feels like there's something weird about it whether or not it's haunted i'm i'm not gonna know that because i've only just opened it but i'm definitely sensing some weird like if that looks at me in the night i'm actually going to launch it across the room i think at this point because bearing in mind i have some weird stuff in my horror collection you've all seen my horror collection but this is honestly freaking me out let's just say that this thing wasn't haunted look at his hair the poor thing is receding. It is literally stuck on by like one bit of glue. It is literally given like Jedward. If you're from the UK, you'll know who Jedward are. And they've got like no hair here. Oh. It's just come off. So. It's a bold baby now. To be honest, I think it looks better like that. That looks even weirder, doesn't it really? Look at his eyes. It's just so weird. I think that is honestly like... It's got my hair. I think that is honestly like the weirdest thing I've seen. And my husband is going to hate this with a passion. He is going to hate it. I might have to come up with some YouTube shorts of me using this near him. Because like making him jump. Because he will not like this for one minute. He loves horror but he hates anything like this. So I'm definitely going to do that. Let me know in the comments if you want me to scare my husband with this because 
it would be a genuine reaction because he absolutely hates it. I need to think of a name for this. Like, I actually kind of love it. Like, I know I love spooky things anyway, but I do generally like it. And I am actually... I've got some of that hair on my nail. Um, I do generally feel like it's weird. There is definitely something not right about this. I mean, other than the fact that it's got teeth like that, for a start. But other than that, and then it's got, like, one arm that's just... Stop. Okay, so I didn't know that. You can actually... I love it. I'm honestly quite annoyed that I didn't know this was battery operated because I'd have been sure to have purchased some so we could have tried it out. But I just generally thought it was just this like little doll. But either way, it, even if it wasn't haunted, I just think it's so cool. And it does definitely give off a vibe that it is. Um, the quality of it is really great other than the hair. The hair wasn't even literally, the hair was stuck on by like one little bit. It is, like, extremely detailed. There's all texture on here as well. The eyes, like, freak me out. Look at that. That definitely looks like that's going to come and suck your soul out of your body. And I do generally think that's going to look really good on my horror shelf. Normally, I wouldn't buy things like this, honestly. But something, like, kind of drew me to it. I don't know why. Um. So, yeah, we like I said, we do need to come up with a name. So, in terms of the history on this, I don't actually know. I don't know if it actually is haunted. I'm not sure. I'm not going to know that until I've had it for a few days. Um, but, honestly, there there wasn't really much about this. Um, there was one other person that bought it um, for a friend. And she said that her friend collected haunted dolls. So, hopefully, in a way, there's something odd about it. Um, because that was the idea of me purchasing it. But either way, it's such a cool little addition to have to your collection if you do collect. So I just wanted to give you a little close-up of our hands. Like, they're just so detailed for the price that it was. This was literally under £10. Um, and honestly, it's wow worth the money. I'm not sure if it's... No, it doesn't. But I reckon the eyes may glow or something like that because they really, really, like, stood out, if that makes sense. But let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this little doll. Do you reckon it's haunted or do you reckon it's just a little prop? Or do you reckon there is something eerie about it? I'm definitely picking up, like, an eerie feeling. I don't know. It's just very, very strange. And this is coming from a person who collects all sorts of horror and watches all sorts of horror. Literally nothing bothers me, but I feel like this could bother me at night. I'd say, like, the weirdest thing about it is the smell. That's what's giving me, like, an eerie feel. It literally smells like a museum. Like, do you know when you go, like, thrifting or whatever like that, and there's that really weird antique museum smell? It is definitely giving that kind of vibe, which, for me personally, automatically gives me, like, a bit of an eerie feel because, obviously, the, the item's old. Whether or not that's the case with this, I'm not entirely sure, but we will find out. <laughs> I mean, she is semi-cute. But she stinks. So that was today's video. Just a real short one. Just an unboxing. And really I just want to see what your thoughts are. No one's going to know if it's haunted. Until I've had it for a few days. So if you do want an update let me know. And I can post that in the comments. There is going to be a lot more content coming your way, guys. So if you do like things like this, anything horror and spooky, like I said in the beginning, do be sure to subscribe. And also turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And also I will be doing other like kind of videos on my TikTok account where I'll be vlogging going to Brighton the weekend. I'm actually doing a bit of thrifting. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you head over to my TikTok. And now that I've finished rambling on for God knows how long, all that's left to say is thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.